Opinion this morning comes from retired U.S. Army General Stephen Anderson. Forty-three years ago, I swore an oath to protect the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Back then, who could have imagined the domestic attack on our democracy a year ago this week? I've become increasingly concerned that our military has become politicized and infected by the acrimony that plagues our society today. Just consider this. At least 10% of the January 6th insurrectionists charged with crimes served in the military. Over 100 retired senior service leaders signed an open letter supporting Trump's big lie about the 2020 election. Convicted felon, retired Lieutenant General Michael Flynn advocated military action to support this claim. And the Republican Party spent the last year downplaying the insurrection and obstructing investigations. All this nonsense may confuse our troops on the difference between allegiance to a leader and allegiance to our Constitution. Such confusion could set conditions for another coup attempt, a thought that chills me to the bone. So what should we do? First, all insurrectionists must be held accountable to include the politicians that supported the Capitol assault. We need to educate our service members on the Constitution and the integrity and legitimacy of our election system. The Pentagon must identify emerging threats and war game against future domestic terrorist acts. And we need policy that prevents troops from joining hate groups. Military service is a profound privilege, and we cannot allow extremists to contaminate unit morale and cohesion. Ultimately, our military is merely a reflection of us, you and me. The misinformation and hateful rhetoric that infects our country and our political discourse weakens our national defense and vitalizes our adversaries. We must learn from the January 6th insurrection and take immediate actions to protect our great democracy from the domestic cancer that continues to grow within.